What's up? Hello, hello. Get me back into a pathway. All right. Uh, happy fourth to everybody. Cheers. All right. So, if we look at our little camp here, we got the Baron. We got One Shot Miguel. We got Crazy Omar. And we got the Doctor, Natalia. That's who we're rolling with. This is the third map of Adventure 2. So, let's see what we got. Um, yes. The Wrath of Calm. <laughs> Wrath of Calm. Um, let me get into this. Finite Glory, what's up? Happy American 4th of July, comrade. <laughs> Alright, so, from last time, uh, everybody's healed up, everybody's kitted out, we're, we're good, so we don't need to go to the camp here. Uh, what else we got going on? There's some, there's some stuff over here, and eventually I think we gotta end up up there. There's not a lot of stuff over here, that's the thing. Like, look, we'd have to go all the way up here to get to something, meanwhile, there's... One, two, three, four, lots of stuff over here, so we might be hitting this camp regardless. Well, fuel. Uh, here's another thing. Ducky Boos, what's up? Um, let me recruit a new a team member. So, we don't necessarily need to go there unless that unlocks somebody, which we haven't really found yet. It's usually been somebody who's already unlocked, so... Uh, I think I'm gonna head over here and then kind of head for this thing and see what we got. Alrighty, a water hole. Hidden in a dry riverbed, you find a water hole with a few date palms growing at its banks. The date palms are heavy with fruit, so you decide to take a break in this shady spot. This is the perfect place to take an extended break. Do you want to rest here? Nah, let's keep going. We're good. Somewhere in the desert. Uh-oh. That daredevil is uh, what uh, Jackson Pollock had. As you drive around the next dune, you meet a fully loaded Wehrmacht truck coming the other way. The truck makes a tight U-turn in a frantic attempt to escape. So we can't take up the chase, but we can follow it. You gun the engine and take up the pursuit. After a frantic chase, you finally catch up with the Germans at some ruins. The soldiers hastily take cover as you move into a top. It's like there's some barrels in that truck we might be aiming for, huh? Uh, six of them. Oh, they're all... Let's see. There's two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I wonder if we can hit those bar bar barrels there. B -b -b barrels the Baron. Let's get you some good cover. I'm starting to, like, recognize these maps a little bit, maybe? They sort of look familiar, but then again, they may not. may just have, uh, trees and rocks. But maybe that's, that's all I'm looking for. Uh, alright. One shot. Let's get you here. Crazy Omar. You're crazy enough to have not much cover in Doctor. Half and half. There's not a, lot of, not a lot of cover here. We can give her half and half, though. How you guys doing? Is it hot where you are? Because it was like a hundred and something today. Uh, down around these parts. It's crazy. It's awful. Kid Jim! What's up, what's up? Ball Pathway the other day did not fare nearly as well with Crazy Omo. No! Crazy Omar! He's so crazy. Uh, seems like the maps are repeating. I think so, too. Um, Alright, let's see. Who do we have here? 
80 percent 80 80 80 80 80 80 on all of it he, he's pretty much like the bottom his bottom is uh, 80 percent right now i think he's got the perks and stuff so um not enough to kill him not enough to kill him uh not enough to kill the doug it's it's a battle hound three enough for him not enough for him so the baron can't one shot anybody but he can seriously damage this this doge let's try it that's pretty good that's pretty good i'll take that uh go and reload I have to go back and start again i've stayed in the ac while the rest of my neighborhood is working and, um yeah i mean my apartment complex has a has a pool and it's just packed it's it's ridiculous <laughs> um we, uh, we actually had to go out and about today, um, Annie and I, but, oh gosh, it was so bad. It was awful. Um, so it is nice to, to get back indoors and away from people. <laughs> um, Omar actually might be able to shoot some folks from there. <sighs> Wait, ice cold's about 53 in your area? Oh all rugged up um that sounds so nice that sounds so so nice <laughs> uh let's go up here and try and get this this doge and we and we actually have some good cover yeah that uh, that sounds amazing it, it's so gross here what can he do with no they're not in range uh, actually well, I don't think Miguel could make it up here far enough to chuck a grenade, but if he could, that'd be nice. We'll get all these three. Uh, Omar! You missed that doge! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna actually go see if Omar... How far can he throw? That's a, that's a pretty big range, Chad. One, two, three, four, five. Five on a di diagonal. And he can get here. One, one, two, three, four, five. I think he could hit him. I'm gonna leave him a little bit open here, but I think he can hit these guys with a grenade. Let's, let's try it. War Wizard, what's up? Hey, I'm glad everybody's around. I didn't announce or anything, and and uh, and it's the fourth here in America, so. I was uh, wondering if anybody would even show up. I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you. Um, you have it. This is our first battle. And uh, we got some toughies here. But uh, one shot is hoping to come in here and deal some granada damage. Oh, it's so satisfying. Ah, oh, sir, satisfying. <laughs> um... All right, the doctor's got this uh, this this beam particle rifle, so let's see if she can let's see if she can go one on one uh, with this with this medic down here. <laughs> uh, Bigfoot, what's up? Uh, that's a new name. I haven't seen that one before. Festivities over here in the dirty colonies. Funny, I was actually wondering if you would stream. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna do it as much as I can and hopefully add some more if possible. Look at that shot! The doctor, Dr. Payne. Um, yeah, I can't let a silly little thing like a holiday <laughs> get, screw up the stream schedule. Cheers everybody, glad you're here. Yeah, big heels, but at least the doctor got um, some XP for that, I hope. Doctor, can you punch this guy to death? I don't think you can do 13 on a punch. We got 35 here. Let's see if we can move you into better pits. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're going to take him out, but you can... You can deal some Dimaggio's here. And maybe Miguel can come in and clean up with a well-timed pooch. Uh, are are you in the Illinois or did you head to the Hinters? I'm I'm still in Illinois and I am someday hoping to move to the old Hinterland. 
Um, I think I'm thinking Miguel is going to double. So we could literally punch this guy to death, which I'm going to do just because. Man, I love punching some Nazis. And he's going to pop over here, and he's going to go knock knock. Who's there? My fist. It's what was doing the knocking. You should have. You should have realized that. happening it was a knock um anyways we get him here and he can 100 this dude he's crazy let's do it in the face i love it. omar just omar's whole mo is to just leap over a barrier come up and just stick a shotgun like right in your face <laughs> hey what's up west king of crayons i know that name Something less spooky, a little bit, a little bit less. Yeah, there's um, there's a few occult elements in this game. Um, not as much as I thought there'd be so far, but they're getting more and more. We actually fought some zombies last time, uh, and there's cultists and stuff. So it's getting a little weirder, but not nearly as jump scary as the other stuff. Fireworks. Yeah, they were setting off fireworks. Just they were just booms earlier today, you know, that's all it was, was just boom, boom. Um, he's 80%, but I'm gonna put him up here. And yeah. That's a Tesla. Um, <laughs> uh, as if the local high school having its problems then announcing Saturday to Sunday someone who attended testing positive. Of course, right? Oh, is that everybody? That's everybody. Okay. He's looking for your magic card now. Oh, man. Tough luck, kids. Like this should be a hundred percent too, because he can pop out, but that's all right. Oh. Ow. Um, let's give her a shot. She could use a, a good shot at this guy. Didn't know this game's gameplay was XCOM like. Seen it around on Steam, might look. Yeah, it is. It is. I actually haven't played XCOM. I've seen it played, but yeah, it's it's pretty much exactly like that kind of stuff. The RTG or I RTS stuff. Um, let's have. He's he's pretty much full. Let's see if one shot can come up here and do something before I send Crazy Omar in to do crazy stuff. Oh boy. Uh, Omar, you're gonna have to get up here and maybe just, I think you can, sh well, he's got armor. Let's just pin him in. What's up, Jules? Ooh, that didn't do much at all. And he does need to reload. Well, I was hoping I'd be able to take him out between the two of them, or three of them, actually, but, uh, didn't, didn't fare so well. Didn't matter. <laughs> yes, Omar, please, uh, I have some garbage that needs taking out. It's like smacked him upside the head. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's this 100% here. Give the doctor the last shot. I'll say this game's perfect. You know, it's fun backseat gaming. <laughs> I do love games like this. I told you guys about Hard West. We might, maybe we'll play that someday on here though. It's just too good. It's a lot darker than this too. A lot more weird stuff. 
All right, got some fuel. <laughs> what is this, a nudie photograph? It is, it's a raunchy photograph. To my beloved Albert, yours eternally, Magda. <laughs> Supplies. Ooh, oh, I think I, I think I already have that one. And <laughs> that's funny. Look at all this. Uh, these are basically the same thing. Um, we'll take them. We don't don't need them, but we'll take them. Excited? You search the storage boxes you found in the back of the truck. <gasps> more stuff. Three sniper rifles. Small ammo box. We'll take it. More supplies. We'll take that. And fuel. Sure. All necessary stuffs. Great. Oh, we gotta level up. One shot. Welcome to level four, sucker. Alright, uh, so we can do dexterity, agility, or power. Dexterity's all right. Willpower, uh, um, and then agility. He he does need agility. It's how far he can move. Dexterity's aiming. Hmm. I I kind of want to go for agility to to let him run a little bit farther. You don't need to aim much when you've got grenades. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's another game really like has the same sort of, but it's a side. Rolling version, Steamworld Heist, huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for agility because um, moving around the map's always good. Uh, his brave bravery points are pretty good too, but he doesn't do much with those. I feel like, or I don't do much with them. <laughs> going with agility. Running farther is better. Excellent. I just took it. <laughs> uh, she's got a penicillin syringe, so we don't need that. We certainly don't need the painkiller. We can send that to sell that. I don't know if we're going to get another doctor one day. Um, I don't know if we should hang on to stuff and give it to other people or what, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Onwards and upwards. We'll swing around this way to get to that one. Oh, nice. I don't know actually how how far behind chat is uh, from everything, but I'm glad that I'm making the correct decisions as the, the chats are rolling in. <laughs> Alright, you see a lonely camel standing in the shade of a small grove of palm trees. As you approach, you see the animal is tethered. You find traces of a camp, but not a human soul. Well, we're gonna brute search this place thoroughly. Look, it's crazy Omar. He's just gonna lift the boulder up and like throw it, and somehow it's gonna land on Nazis. Not far from the abandoned camp, you find a crevice in the cliffs next to the grove. It may be a cave entrance, but it has been buried by a rock avalanche. The debris looks like it fell recently. Like he did it! Omar spits on his hands and starts to heave the massive boulders out of the way. Suddenly, you hear muffled cries for help. Omar redoubles his efforts. A short time later, you are pulling a dust-covered nomad out from behind the debris. Surely heaven has sent you. An avalanche must have come down during the night. I was caught like a fox in a trap. He goes back into the cave and returns with some bundles over his shoulders. You have saved the life of a simple traveler. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. In his hands, he holds a nondescript amulet. Who will take it? Hmm. Hmm. Who gets this amulet? I kind of like the idea of Omar doing it since he he's the one who saved him. But at the same time, I wonder if Natalia should get it if it's something that... Uh, might boost some strength or something. I don't know. Who should we give this to? What do you guys think? Darkest Dungeon is pretty much up your alley too. Very difficult. Darkest Dungeon's awesome. I do have that. We can play that someday too. It is it is tough. But um, the voice acting, the art, everything's really cool. 
You'd like to see that too? Um, yeah. We can we can do that someday. Give it to Omar, you think? Uh, tomorrow's the fifth, by the way, old king of crayons. Ha 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 Oh boy. I, I, I keep forgetting too, you probably don't, but um, we gotta schedule a bull phone for that too. Uh, Nata oh, we got one vote for Omar and one for Natalia. Um, I don't know. Natalia, there's two for Natalia now. We might have to, might have to go on and chuck that amulet at her. I, I'm imagining, for some reason I'm imagining it would like, it would be good for people who use, uh, particle beam weapons. But that's probably just, uh, hopeful thinking. Wishful thinking. All right, Natalia. She's, I love that everybody hates Natalia. Hey, new girl, get out of here. <laughs> Natalia, uh oh, it is worn right over the heart. You thank the man, continue your journey. Lucky charm. She's got some luck. Maybe it'll help her um, aim. What does that mean? What do? What's it do? Lucky charm. This is a temporary perk that only lasts until the end of the adventure. Vitality and reflexes plus one though. That's pretty good. Nice. All right, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, what are our supplies at nine? Let's see what that's. We can probably make it another adventure with that. All right. Reanimated bit. How's it going? Man, we got a good crew tonight. Um, it's 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 just crazy. Cause it's so hot out. That's what I'm saying. Except apparently for uh, 53 degrees, which, gosh, that sounds nice. Uh, all right, a few foundation walls are all the remains of the temple complex half buried in the sand and rocks. You search the area, but apart from a small rock altar, you find nothing of importance. What is this? Forbidden lore. In Sixth Sense, this is the second time that one's come up. Come on, Baron, find something for us. Examining the altar reveals no new information. It must be many years since a living creature set foot in this desolate place. You are seized by a strange restlessness and decide to leave this oppressive place as fast as you can. Oh well, maybe it's a good thing. Uh-oh, got a fight. The entrance to the temple in front of you has been smashed in. You enter the building with weapons drawn. Once inside, your suspicions are confirmed. A group of German soldiers are camping here. They have seen you! Ready. We have a Teslaberg 3, Teslaberg 2, Medic 3, Medic 2. They're getting tougher. So four of them is all. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, most of them are over here. Barone, where are they going to come from? Up here? Might as well just see if we can get you as close as we can. Miguel, you too, probably. Um, I'm gonna send Miguel over to pick this other guy on the side off. Omar, crazy. Doctor, let's send you this way, see what you can do down in this mess. Yeah, right here. You'll have to move to Southern Australia to get the, the nice temps. Shoot, I might do it. Let's see. Oh, pretty much, yeah, we can, well, that's fine. And hit him, but we'll be open. I don't think we can take him out. I'll just, uh, I'll just put him, bring him up here. Well, let's see, I'll bring him up here. Okay, this is something I... There's a little arrow here. I'm not sure what that means. And then it goes to a zero. wonder if that's... He can move to get to me, maybe? I'm not 
not sure. In this, in this, he's completely safe. Maybe that's the deal. I don't know. Um, yeah, he's gonna try to sneak up here. Miguel, one shot everyone. And then the heel We're gonna swing around behind him and beam him up. Scotty. How's life been? Um, pretty good. It's uh, it's been hot. It's it's, it's hot. <laughs> it's busy though. Um, doing stuff for uh, for both podcasts. And, um, Miss Cryptid's done, which is good and bad because it's the cryptid. Uh, Miss Cryptids are are pretty. Um, they're they're not bad to put together in terms of the content and the work on them. Um, it's just a uh, constant, you know, like get it get it done kind of thing. Um, but other than that, now we're into the regular episodes. Uh, I think I definitely might have ticked off some people with that. Oh, that, that didn't do much at all, actually. Um, that conspiracy episode, so... Uh, I've, I lost... At least, well, ten likes and counting so far on, on Facebook after that episode came out. So I'm guessing some people didn't like uh, hearing what was, uh, what was said in there. But other than that, I uh, got plenty of... Um, Plenty of stuff to work on. Still, still, still getting stuff done. Um, got an idea. Well, I recorded with the Ghostly uh, Ghostly Talk podcast the other night, and uh, they put their episode with me out. I'm, I'm going to be putting that out um, this week, I think. Uh, they they came on and talked talked to me and uh, brought a few EVPs, which was cool. We got to talk about that a little bit. So that was fun. Miguel's going to do his best Omar impression here. I mean, whatever works, huh? So, this is basically all I can do for this turn. Hmm. That's sad. Believers suck. I mean, it's. I don't. I, you know, nothing wrong with being skeptical. Only thing I didn't really care for is poo pooing on 9 11 being an insect. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, I, um. I, I don't know if it was so much the, the true believers, uh, as it was the people who don't like hearing anything political. And it does not matter if it's fact-based or opinion-based. If if you if you say anything with politics, I think people get really bent out of shape. Um, and so I I'm guessing that was that was probably what uh, what did it. You could be wrong, but you know what are you gonna do? Uh, also, speaking of what what are we gonna do? This. Um, I don't know if I should. I don't think I can kill him with one shot. I could be wrong. He does thirty-six to forty. He's got. He's got a lot of armor, though. Um, I just. I, I, Thirty-five is just gonna miss. But if I run up here, I'm gonna be wide open, one way or another. Guess I could. Yeah, that's still not that great. She can't hit him from here. I almost wish she could do an ambush, too. Um. Ah, boy. She, if she runs... See, these guys could come in here and... Yeah, she's she's kind of in a dangerous spot. To be honest. Might leave her there for the time being and see what Omar can do. Um, this takes two. use another one of those. Actually, he could use a reload. To be fair. 
wonder if he can reload and then repair his stuff. Yeah, let's just have him repair his own armor. It's something. Uh, wait, what did the flat earther stop like? I don't care for politics much myself either, but I don't think it was bad in that department, comparatively speaking. Um, I all all the stuff that uh, that those guys said was all data. It was all from data they had collected, so it's literally just you know facts, and they were using examples and stuff. And because um, I I try to make the show you know non political as much as I can, because I want it to be kind of an escape, because everybody's so inundated with that stuff these days um that yeah i i'm all for being kind of an escape for for folks um but in stuff in in terms of things like that it um it's it's just talking facts and some people it's just it's not what some people are interested in <laughs> Uh, and Doctor, you just stay put. I think we're fine there. Stand on a tile above me. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could've... Could've probably done that. I was worried about this medic swinging around and... Giving me grief. Um, three... Three months behind on, on the weekly, saving them all for going back to work. Sorry, catch up a day or two. Um, fair enough. Uh, can she... She can hit him from here, it looks like. Well, she can try to hit him from here. Uh, actually... She's got the same chance from here. Let's fall back a little bit. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, everyone crap on everyone else. Like, cross it out, gets old. There's no, there's no constructive stuff. Um, here's a question. He just got a bravery point back. Why do you think that is? Because he had one. Now I can do the shotgun blast, which is going to royally uh, give it to these guys. But I wonder how he got that bravery point back. Interesting. got a shot on him here and here. Oh boy, can he hit? He might be able to throw a grenade if I go here. If not, he can shoot them. Uh, I missed the rest of the convo, but any consideration to the Lake City Quiet Pills? No, but let me let me write that down. Da, 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 da. Let me text it to myself. Um, I'll, I will check that out. Um. Cause I, um. I, I don't know anything about that, so, uh. I'll take a look. Um. Oh boy, he can. get right on right on this dude I mean if you boys are just gonna stand together like that you're gonna die together like that son <laughs> nice as far as flat earthers goes and excuse me for shutting out another pod here but the stereo 51 round table is gilled <laughs> Oh, that's when they had actual flat earthers on. Didn't they? See, I, I would be bad at that. I'm so bad at like debating in real time because I just I'm, I get all uh, like I let emotions take over and I get angry and, and stuff. Um, I'm very bad about that. I can't really debate. Um, so to have it would be nice to have a a discussion with. Um, with someone who is a believer, or whatever you want to call it, 
but um, I don't think any good could, could come of it without me getting angry or not being able to make a, a good point, which, you know, I'm better at when I, just, when, when I have the script in front of me, of course. I'm an awful debater. Yeah, you, you would think I would be a master debater, but no, just it's hard, hard to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Dumb move on my part. I left him wide open. Let's see. Liked that you bring a skeptical approach to the pod, that's why I listen. That's good to hear. I mean, I think the, the vast majority of podcasts out there are they they err on believing, um, and and it's like very. It's like if this is the middle and this is skepticism, this is belief. They're you know somewhere in the middle. They're in the middle to to extreme range over there and. Um, it's just, it's, it's denying reality in a way, a lot of it, but I, everything's worth talking about because you never know when something might not be able to stand the test of scientific thought and then that makes it that much more interesting and, and powerful. Um, I always quote Fox Mulder, I want to believe, yeah, you're not, you're not a master debater, I thought you were married. I, or, yeah, I mean, yeah, I am, I am married, that's why I'm not. <laughs> Same about debating, stick to your strengths. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I'd love to do something like, um, how Art Bell used to do it with, um, that's just a trinket. Um, what a, what a bunch of crap. Uh, how he, you know, would give everybody a chance to talk and he'd listen, he'd ask questions, he'd be fascinated, but he'd still be like, well, something about that doesn't really, um, you know, add up, like, he'd call it out, but he had the best way of doing it to, to also be nice to people and make sure they know that he's on their side. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're humans, we should be working together instead of trying to, uh, have a pissing contest or, be in conflict. Anyway, uh, the village looks run down and deserted. You see a small plume of smoke rising from the courtyard of a caravansary. You decide to investigate and run straight into a unit of German soldiers who have set up camp here. Now we've got a few options. Draw your weapons, stay calm, which is a trickster thing. Uh, or are you looking for trouble? We send in Omar or who's the trickster, the Baron? What do we think? Omar? We want to intimidate him? Humans working together seems a difficult thing these days. It's a, it's a uh, tall order. It's a big ask. Um, let's see. Which one do we... Trickster or Brute? Always Omar? Alright, let's let's try to intimidate him. I mean, he, he lifted a boulder for... Crying out loud. With speed that surprises you all, Omar attacks two of the soldiers, cracking their heads together. You use the element of surprise and open fire. All right. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I, I'm happy that they added these little animations in there. <laughs> Guns blazing. Everything is way too divisive these days. I just want to be friends with everybody. I mean, that's, I, I guess we're a dying breed. I don't know. It's, it's sad. Why, why fight? Why not just get along? Make the world better for everybody instead of just one or two people. Anyway, so box. Look at this guy just out here by himself, and then everybody else is up here. 
Uh, the Baron. Where are we gonna put you? I wonder if we can blow these barrels. I don't know if we can aim at them or not. If we can, we, we're pretty in pretty good shape. We can take that guy out. Not a heck of a lot of cover elsewhere. I'm gonna put you here. Miguel de Cervantes. Let's, let's just do this for now. There's not a lot of good hiding space. Um, I got an idea for Omar, and then the doctor. Also, not in a great spot. open on the one side she shouldn't be but we'll put her behind here uh stay calm psych them out oh well too late i'm afraid i don't think we can hit these barrels unfortunately that stinks you can hit the one dude way up here from, from where he's at See, at 62, good grief. Who's this dude? Uh, 70% though. <laughs> Omar. This guy's almost dead. Hmm. There's a lot of choices here with. If I go for the officer, it's going to leave me wide open. I think Miguel's going to have to go for him somehow or another. He doesn't have great options either, but uh, let's go down here and take this guy out. We know we can do that. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the officer. Dang it. 62. He can't... He's a hundo from here. I, I might go for the R. And it's only 50%. Yeah. And then you can take some cover. Again. Uh, pared down my round of pair podcasts quite a bit. A lot of you work together sometimes, so it might be a case of discovering new one through what I already listened to. Yeah. On a scale of Chan Chan to Bunyip, how scared of you are are you of Corona? Um, probably like Jersey Devil. Um, I don't want to get it. I absolutely don't. I I feel like I would be one of the one of the ones who it would like royally f up. Um, and if it's true that it like stays with you and messes with you and does neurological damage and stays in your lung, like my lungs are awful anyway. Um, and so. The last, I think the last thing I want to do is, is get this thing. We're trying to be as precautious as we can um, and, and really be hermits. And thankfully, Annie is able to work from home. And obviously, I work from home too. So um, we're trying our best, but like it's hardly anybody around here is taking it seriously at all. Nobody wears masks. Um, if you go in businesses, you know, they make you wear masks, so that's good at least, but just people walking around, I, I don't I don't get it. I, I don't get a, the American response to it. <laughs> so, I'm hopeful that I can avoid it. 
Um, there's uh, there's either somebody decided to shoot fireworks or Red Dawn. It's finally happening. Oh no. The commies, they're coming. Um, he can't dash, can he? He can sucker punch and he can do warning shots. So let's see if we can... That's that sniper. That, that guy's... His number's up. We can get him, I'm sure. 80% to get him. We knock him out. Then Miguel can do stuff. Ah! Bingo, bango, that's my blood type. All right. Um, now the doctor can come up and play a little bit. Not much. But let's see, is anybody hurt? That's what she's here for. Not really. Miguel's got a little bit, but I'm not going to use four. Omar, let's bring you up, see what you can do. Not a whole heck of a lot, but that's okay. Get you closer to the action. Actually, uh, heal yourself with this repair kit. There we go. And then one shot. 50%. Ugh. I don't like those odds, but it's possible we could take this officer down. Look at that! We unlocked a, a person! Leonora. Alright. Uh, I think... Wait a minute. Are these able to be shot now? Did somehow... What's the deal? Didn't it look like it? we couldn't shoot it earlier? Am I going crazy? Yeah, look at this. I can hit this. Maybe... Oh, man. Something messed up there. I don't know. I didn't think we could hit those barrels. I'd have hit that first thing. It didn't look like it was highlighted. That's weird. Whatever. My bad. I'm excited to get a new person. I I, I think the person unlocks are, are some of the best. Although, I, th I do think this game would be kind of grindy to get, like, all the people and then level them up and stuff. <laughs> ah, boy. All right. Anyway. We'll bring her up here just in case doing this, the sneaky moves. Look at this, Omar's... Omar's got a 70% chance on this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Righteous. Uh, the Baron. Can you hit this guy? Oh my gosh. Oh, over Omar's shoulder. And that, that bullet ripped that guy up. Like, that went through armor and everything. Yeah, like, the like thing is annoying on, on Facebook because it's so hard to get people to like the page, it seems like. And then, like, in the span of four or five days, you, you lose double digits. It's it's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's frustrating. Small ammo box. Money, money, money. And another so what's the deal? Are these all just like junkies out here that we're fighting? Come on. Uh what are we at? Twelve fuel. I need to get around. There's a lot of stuff to do up here though, so let's Uh yeah, let's pop up this way. You've been making good progress. Thank you. Thank you, game. So you're high, you're in high spirits when you take a short break. After a quick meal, you're about to continue your journey and make an unpleasant discovery. The sand and rocky ground around your Jeep is soaked in gasoline. What? You busted a fuel line? There's Patrick. What's up, man? Please throw a grenade in celebration. You're fighting diabetics. <laughs> well, the Nazis did everything from methamphetamine, so boy. Patrick, um, this is something I was going to tell you last time. Check out, um, check out the emotes. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know if, um, you have them or, or not. But, boom. I got, uh, I got these emotes. I got, uh, uh, you see my badge there? That's a one month subscriber badge. 
I got badges and emotes, son. Woohoo! You already have an effective team. If one of your team dies, then recruiter. Yeah. That, uh... That we can do. Uh, a hasty inspection confirms your suspicions. A pebble must have hit the tank at full speed and ripped open a small hole from which gasoline is now slowly dripping. The hole is quickly plugged, but the damage is done. Minus two fuel, that's that's gonna hurt. Ugh. Uh, what is this? You've driven into a rockier terrain. The stones around you are getting bigger and sharper. You look for an alternate route. But eventually, you have to admit that you won't get any further in this scree. You have to turn back and find a way around the rocky landscape. Minus one fuel. Man, we're getting fuel humped out here. Uh, same artist as QQBB stuff? Actually, no. Um, I found someone who is very nice on uh, Fiverr that, uh, that did it for me. So, um, maybe if someday someone teaches me how to do like the channel points and stuff, I can, I can get some more and make those uh, a reward or I don't I don't know man I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but there's badges there's a, a one month a six month and a one year badge and then um, uh, I, I can unlock more emotes I've got two more actually I've got there's three different ones right now and I've got two more I can add uh, for when they get unlocked uh, at 15 subscribers maybe I don't know I have a bunch of points. Going to see what happens when I spin them. Well, wait till I have something to offer. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what they can do for you. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Keep on, keep on going. You find no trace of inhabitants at the sprawling farm. Instead, you find that a large Wehrmacht detachment has taken up lodging. Do you want to risk an attack? <laughs> well, let's wait. Actually, wait a minute. Let's see what we're. Oh, we're we're all fine. Miguel's got a little damage to his coat. To his leaf vest. But everybody else is uh, good to go. Let's do it. Oh, you spent 320 points to to random unlock one of them. Nice, okay. Well, that's fun. Uh, he says. Not, not having any points to spend. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's see, six of these guys. A couple of shocks. A couple of troops. Uh, Alright, one, two. Oh my gosh, what a big map. Three, four, five, six. Okay. There's a couple over here, but mostly over here. guys forward right now. Hundo on him, hundo on him. 56, 29, but uh, 18. What do you guys think? Nazi Trooper 3 or Shock Trooper 2 only does 16 to 20, 34 to 30. Do a lot of damage, I mean, that's all we can ask for, really. I, I am going to move him up because I don't think this is going to run right in the open, I hope. Can't do much with that. Yeah, I can't, can't really get anywhere. Can't really get anywhere up here with her. You stay there then, Doctor. Miguel, can you get up here and launch a granada? Look at that. There's a tree in the way. Diabolical. He is just... Just out of that range. Well, we'll uh, maybe we can take him on out. For dinner. It's possible we could get this guy dead, too. We could one-shot him. This guy's hurt. He's still got 20, though. Actually, one shot him. Boy, oh boy. I'm gonna go for this guy. Well, he might not take him out, though. 
He, I think he, and he'll definitely take him out. I guess we should go for the sure thing. Uh, doctor, actually, let's, uh, Dr. Acula, let's bring you up here. I don't think these guys on the right are going to get to us. They might. They might actually, but, uh, I think you can do a good, some good damage here. Zap. I'm okay with that. And then... Ah, oh, balls. Okay. Can't hit him there. Actually, maybe we should send you down here to start worrying about these guys, though. That's what we're going to do. Omar's going to take care of the, this trash. Teach, I don't know how to get the other two. I just got the one random thought. Higher level items surpass lower level rare items? Maybe. Um, I think it's, oh, he can, he can do it, do it, do it. Uh, maybe, I'd have to, I'd have to see an example, because I think I understand what you're talking about. Uh, I just need to see, I'd like to see two items together. Oh, look at this guy. And he still missed. <laughs> I appreciate your bravery, Nazzy. Too bad. Nothing's gonna sh be shown for it. Um, what? Why is he still? I guess the cover is pretty good. Well, I can get him cover too. And he's just gonna like dip the shotgun over and and just spray and pray right here. All right, all right. Now look at this. So he was up here, and she had a 100% chance. Now he's here, and she's got a 35% chance. That makes sense to you? Kind of sense is that? Okay, she can go here and... Alright, the doctor's uh, pulling her weight here a little bit. That's nice. I mean... Oh, look at that. It's 50% suddenly. If I go here, it's a hundo sure he can uh, do more damage this way. Oh. oh, yes. Living up to that name. I love it. Okay. How far? Look at this range, though. The Baron is uh, he's kitted out. So, he's got 80% to go if I go up there. I can't hit anybody over there. I think Omar and the Doctor can you take care of that. It's math. Maths are hard. Math is... Death is an enemy. Ooh, missed on an 80% chat. What do you think of that? <laughs> what is this? This shit show down here. These two guys <laughs> shooting over a rock at each other and nobody's doing anything. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, something you probably aren't interested in hearing, but Omar's got a knife. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was I had the Baron selected. Omar's got a shotgun. That'll work. <laughs> Still didn't kill him. Face full of face full of buckshot and did nothing. Where's this other guy? Up here? Here's something I wish they did. I wish they would show how many are left in kind of like how it's got us over here on the side, over here. I wish they had a little thing that like showed how four or six, or if they're dead or whatever. I love this. Yeah, here she's at 35%, here she's at a hundo. She, she can't one-shot him. I don't think she can hit this guy from here. <sighs> um, Alright, here's the other thing. The Baron is 
in a shooting match with this guy. That hit. Oh, he's got to reload. Thank you for reminding me, Merone. And then Miguel, let's see if you can come across here and help out. 50%. I'm just going to see if we can take this guy downtown. Oh, now, now she can run up here at this hundo. And she can finish him off. Nice. She can sprint, yeah. I like to save that for, um, for when we get caught by snipers. I also uh, don't know 100% how to use, use it totally effectively. Uh, like missing that 99% headshot on XCOM. Baron hit the schnapps before the shot, right? Hey, t it is Tab. Uh, de what is that? Death, Deathonel. 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 <laughs> What's up? Uh, welcome. How are you? Let's see. Omar. The button under the hand shape shows how many are left. Thank you. That's it. That tip to you. The more you know. Thank you. Um, alright, well, look at this. He's just gonna run out to the field, wide open. I, you know what? I should have punched him. I don't know why. What am I thinking? He's gotta reload that shot. Should have punched him. What a dumb dumb. Everybody's getting cocky. Look at this. Natalia's just gonna run up here and miss. Watch, everybody's gonna miss. 50% for everywhere. Okay, that's alright. Everybody's gonna miss. Alright, thank you, Baron. <laughs> you two owe him a beer. Sidezig Sturm Carabiner. Hmm. see ranges eight times. The late term development of the great one makes more than two. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that's any good. And a too little too late sniper rifle. Alright, let's see. Probably not any better, eh? Uh, this might be what you were talking about, though. This, uh, the other thing I've got is an epic, but this one does more damage, uh, more armor, better crit, uh, one less bullet, but uh, all the rest of that stuff. Uh, vitality is down one, but, um, yeah. I think, I think I might switch this out, if anything, for that damage. The range is the same. Yeah, I think I'd give him this. Higher level item, I see. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's give him that. He likes it. What is this? This one's three. Legendary three. Yeah. Definitely not to do this with Okay. Miguel, how is this stacking up? Nothing. The accuracy is not is uh, minus five percent, which is sad. Uh, level up. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. Oh, I see. No, I, I thought this was she could use it one more, one more time in battle, which would be nice. First aid. Concentrate. Um, 
Disintegrator damage, pistol accuracy, or pistol damage. She doesn't use a pistol, so either we go for the damage or we go for more healing. Uh, what do you guys think? I, I think either more healing or more damage on that gun. Kind of tough. Hmm. 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 She heals like 50 because of that syringe, which is pretty good. Like, every time she heals, it, it basically takes everybody up to full. Um, the gun she's got is pretty good, but, you know, plus 5 damage is always nice. are you healing versus shooting that's a that's also a good question uh probably shoot more because i've only got two uses per battle and she heals 50 with each with each one of them so she does shoot more so yeah maybe i should go for the for the dimaggio pew pew all right that's how we're doing it um now we're getting a little hurt but we're still okay. When we get around 30 to 40 damage on people, I think we might start thinking about uh, some measures to take. Um, got a couple traders here, which is good. We can do some fuel, and then we can uh, go zipping around more of these little places, maybe, until we get up here. All right, let's see what this trader has. Um, and may, it's almost time for... Uh, uh, halftime break a three minute halftime uh the village ahead of you is inhabited you hear the bleeding of goats and children's laughter as you approach the village merchant beckons you over to his stall what do we have here well we want fuel it's not a lot of cash is it tarnished blade blah 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 Preston Grape Grenade. That's a level 3. Damage 27 to 45. Well, that's funny. Preston Grape Grenade. He's, so he's basically got it. And his is a little bit better, it seems like. A new vin Vinner Buckshot. 51 to 63. It's level 3. He's got the same thing. Okay. Um... Well, let's go on and buy the rest of this fuel. Not too worried about supplies. Supplies, supplies. Um, play the game you think you'll like. Yeah, check your hangouts. Okay. Guess you can't go back along the path. You can. Yeah, you can go to any place you've been. Um, just I, basically nothing happens unless it's a, a, a trader. Uh, I think... Oh, we've got this to sell, though, right? Yeah, that's nice. Um, I was I was saving this for somebody else who, who needs a, uh, a shotgun, but maybe we just go on and sell these guys. I've got a guy back... I've got a guy back home uh, who uses disintegrator guns, so I was going to give that to him, and then this is an epic. That would be good. Yeah, let's just go on and sell these... And then I think somebody would probably use this back home as well, so I'm not going to sell those, but I think that should do. And then we've got another trader up here that we can see. Um, let's take a, let's take a three-minute break. I will get some more gin and juice, <laughs> um, and then I'll come back and we'll check out this trader. And then see if we want to keep going up this way, which I don't think I will. I think I'm going to come back this way and go up on these interesting spots. So, um, I'm going to oops, I'm going to run a uh, three-minute ad or whatever. Um, take take a chance to uh, go to the bathroom, and get a fresh drink, um, and then and then we'll be back. Three minutes three minutes and then I'm going to
We're back. Um, cool. Uh, got refreshed. Hope everybody's uh, everybody's keeping on. I, I've never heard of a bomb pop. <laughs> In there, they show a box of fudge and banana. Bomb. Alrighty, um, so let's see what this other trader has. I always use that fuel, especially since we got uh, um, kind of screwed over by three earlier. Three, three, that's three whole places we can't go. Ugh, just popsicles now. Uh, the village ahead of you, uh, ahead of you is inhabited. You hear the bleeding of goats and children's laughter. This is basically the second same as the last time. Ooh, somebody's got a little Uzi here. Um, that's not an Uzi. Is it? No. L Luger? What is this? A uh, new Kreuzisch Moser. German classic, proven a thousand times in the trenches of Flanders. Well, if, if the doctor used a pistol, I'd get that for her, but it uh, won't bomb. All right, let's just, uh, let's just get this fuel. Uh, should we get supplies? I don't know. Hmm. Might as well at least one uh, that'll be a free uh, med kit or a armor thing I guess huh all right um, that's okay not too bad uh, so yeah we'll go back here and then we'll make our way up this way actually no I, I did buy all the, the fuel all right got a fight coming here the Lone Bunker. Look at this place. Oh my gosh. The Lone Bunker in the Wasteland has sparked your curiosity. You realize you are not alone when you startle a group of cultists. They charge you, screaming with rage. There's some of that. That's what we come up on, and then this is what they're doing. And they're like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, uh, five of them. We've got ooh, two infecteds, a couple of cultists, and a spore bearer. Oh boy. Uh, so five of them. We see three right here. Here's four. Two, three, four, five, I guess. We want to get rid of that spore bearer. Which one is he? Kind of hard to tell. I think he's an. This guy's an infected. That might be the spore bearer here. Yikes! I was killing some cultists earlier. Diablo three. Man, what a great game though. Um. Yikes, okay. They're really, they're really surrounding us. And there's a, well, yeah, there's a barrel here. But might, that might be tricky. I'm gonna put the Baron here. Uh, one shot, you need to one shot that Spore Bearer, really. They get an attack first, or they at least get to move first. So I, I kind of just want to play this a little defensively, I believe. And there are not good places around here.
Those are the infected ones. That's a cultist. That's a cultist. That guy looks like, uh, what's his name? Dolly from um, Street Fighter 2? Dol Sim. Dol Sim. From Street Fighter 2. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. 80, 80. 80. Everybody's at an 80. Uh -huh. Oh, nope. Sorry. Hundo, he, he does have a chance to one-shot him. Let's go for it. We gotta get rid of that. Get him back here. Uh, doctor. 35, 35, nothing. Barf. Um, if you get out here, is there any... Well, this, this is pretty good, but um, this guy's a problem. I don't know if Miguel can get up there and get to him or not. She could hit Dulcine for 100. Hmm. She could get this other guy for a hundred for here. Uh, this guy can go anywhere though, basically. Kinda need to get her out of here. She can hit that spore bearer from here though. How far down here can she go? He can go anywhere. I might have to send Omar up to get him. Uh, and then I'll send her here. She can get the spore bearer. And have some cover. Okay. Um, infected. So. He can get at 100%. He might even be able to do that. Um, Is he too close there, though? Do those guys explode? Should we try it? I forget if he explodes. I think he might. Why wouldn't the spore bear explode? But if he can get here, he might be able to do the um, shotgun blast and get this guy too, maybe? Because he's got percentages on both of them. So, I might... I might, I might just go for it. No Omar can, no mark can handle it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so he does. Okay. So it's like a grenade, basically. Well, Doctor, you can come up here and heal. And Omar, you can actually heal, uh, fix your own armor and such. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's see, at 52, good for you. I mean, Miguel could go crazy and just go straight for this cultist. I think we're gonna have him do that. Maybe, maybe it's the gin talking. Oh, he's one point off! Chat! Oh. One, he's, he's one, one off. I mean, this guy could just trip and scrape his knee and die. Come on. Oh, he throws a Molotov cocktail and wrecks my armor. Man, his vest is made of leaves. Leave him alone. And for that... Right in the face. Pow. Right in the quizzer. Alright. Um, so, Doctor, let's have you heal... Nice. And Omar... Uh, okay, here's the tough call. Omar... Well, I can fix that armor anytime. Um, the Baron... The Baron's gonna run up here and uh, shiv this guy, though. I haven't had a good shivin' in a while. 
<laughs> you did not expect that, did you? <laughs> because I am the sniper, but I used uh, a knife instead of uh, my sniper rifle. Uh, I did not expect that. All right, Omar, you get in there, knock him out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for phasing out the Baron so that uh, Omar can shoot through here, phased body. All right, need to fix his armor though. Old desert bunker, only three things. Uh, Gunpowder, all right. That petroleum, we could take that. Ooh, a bulletproof vest, it's heavy armor. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Man, look at the Omar is getting close to. He's very smart though. Like he's a brute, but like look at this. His intelligence is at a five. Brains and brawn. All right. He's got battle dress. No, not as good. Mm, the rarity's not as good either. Okay. You need to use this on yourself, and you need to use it on Miguel. Nice. And then I think we're okay. Fuel at 14, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time to get up in there. What is that, turkey up there? As soon as you notice the Nazi flag, you stop immediately and look around for danger. Soon you realize it's just an abandoned flag and leave. Sometimes a flag is just a flag, Sigmund. I, I, I think it's funny they didn't like take it down and burn it or something. But, you know. Happy fourth, boys. <laughs> Can you guys hear? There's, there's fireworks pop fireworks popping off an itinerant healer has pitched her tents here is that some sort of euphemism uh let's see oh maybe this is like the uh the old russian uh, italian grandma i'm afraid i cannot let you have my goods for free so we want to pay her for some supplies 250 for two four hundo for four that'll fill us up yeah why not give the old Italian grandma some uh, meatball money. <laughs> um, Alright. I guess I could have come up here and... Nah, well. Stop at some worn down stone structures after a short while you drive off. Well, at least we didn't lose fuel. Heads or tails? I don't Tails. Let's go for Tails, Sonic. You hear the bleeding of the goats long before you see the goat herd himself. The man has made himself comfortable in the shade of some trees. You nod to each other and exchange a few words. When the conversation turns to the Germans, the goat herd jumps up excitedly. Who? I have seen the men you seek. They are on a path to their own ruin. Confused, you ask the goat herd, What do you mean? The wise men and women in our village know that no stranger may approach the holy Mount Ararat without incurring its wrath. A go on. Listen and believe. Once Ararat has awakened, the earth will shake at its foundations. You say goodbye to the shepherd and set off again, confused and thoughtful. Get a load of this guy. Uh, way, way too expensive? Yeah, you're probably right, but... Uh, I'm a sucker for an Italian-Russian grandma. <laughs> All right, we're at a military camp. You peer carefully over the ridge of the dune. Um, a large unit of German troops are camped just beneath you. They have secured their camp with sandbags and are patrolling the grounds. Further back, you can see military jeeps and stockpiles. You look at each other. This won't be easy. Well, we don't have a, a shadow unfortunately. Uh, bets on how many eyes the goat herd has. Let's get in there. Let's make something happen. Six dudes. Oh, I 
just like grouped for these four, five, six. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Easy, easy cover for him. Um, Miguel, let's just put you up front and, um, Omar, I'm going to get you up here in the action. And then Doctor, thinking about trying to sneak you around the side here, but, uh, I don't know. It's a long way to go. Let's try it anyway. All right, Baron, what do you got for us? Is anybody standing near fuel? Not that you can hit. This would be nice, but I don't think I can. Can I get up? Oh, I can. I can get real close. Yeah, let's get you up here, and then. Ah, here we go. Um, okay, yeah, that that'll do more damage than thirteen to seventeen, won't it? Wait, can I not hit it? Ah, oh, it's, it's out of range. The square goes like that. All right, that's all right. Um, 13 to 17, 34 to 38. Might do that one. And then we can save those barrels for another time. Uh, doctor, you just, uh, you just start running. They must have advantage because all these guys are at a hundo for being able to shoot. I'm gonna get you here for now. Finish that guy, or ooh, he could take this guy out. Oh, he didn't. It was the low end of that. Uh, There's a chance we got wounded. Got him wounded though. And Omar can't hit. Shoot. Oh well. They have the high ground. Call me Obi Wan. Um. Eh. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Perhaps you uh, would like to meet my friend Omar, who's frickin' crazy? <laughs> He'll punch a bitch. Um, alright, so can hit that guy from here, but can't from here. I might go for that, actually, just to try and get some kind of shot off here. Yeah, if I could drop a pick of my Grievous in here, I would. Got the big Lego figure, it's ginormous and awesome. That's cool. Um, I actually want to get the little one, the 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 minifig of it. I I don't have I don't have that one. I would like to get that one. Uh, you can hit this. Fifty percent to hit that. Come on, man. If you're here, is it any better? I'm gonna leave myself open to this guy, which is not great, but uh, I can do some real damage there. I think I my. Uh, that's the one thing, like, it doesn't show the hit percentages for the barrels, it doesn't seem like, or maybe I'm just misreading it, but... He's got an 80% chance to hit this dude, isn't that crazy? Anyway. Can you get to a better position? No. The bear needs, like, straight up line of sight in order to hit somebody at 100%, else it's just 80, which is phenomenal, but uh, it doesn't exactly... It's it's not a guarantee. You'd think it, it would be close. It is close. It should be. Um, troop ad. Cool. 
I have that one. Did she read? She's got the moves. I have the one twelve. Um, and I kid agree with this. The mine is the strange sort of bionicle action figure style. All leads and ball joints, but his arms stretch out nearly two feet wide. Jeez Louise. Pretty serious. So, um, oh, the Baron. This is the Baron's favorite move. He he loves sniping, but if he can use his pocket knife, game over. Game over. He's at a he's at a hundo or she's at a hundo here, so she might just hop over and take care of this garbaggio. Forty-one to forty-five. That I don't think will do that that much. So I think we're just shoot. Ah! Doctors dodging bullets like Wesley Snipes dodges taxes. Oh. Good one. Are you guys excited for uh, Mahershala Ali to do Blade? He's a he's a good actor. I think it'll be interesting for sure. I did. Wesley Snipes was a great Blade, though. Uh, what have you do, Omar? Do we just go up here and unload? All right. Let's try pinning this guy. Oh, well, I guess he can maybe get out this way? I don't know. Let's try pinning him in and seeing what he did. 15 damage, point blank uh, uh, shotgun. That's that's impressive. <laughs> if he if he did the the high end, he could punch him to death, but I don't think I don't think he's going to get there. So I might as well just uh, do that little number. How many we got left? Two dudes, and the, the doctor's taking on both of them. We kind of left her in the lurch down here. Whoa. Yes, please, yeah. Right. Oh, boy. She's, she's getting wrecked. She's going to have to heal up. Run and heal. Oh, my dear. Let's see. Where should we put you? This is about the best cover we've got. So let's get you here and let's have you heal. Still more excited for Matrix 4. That is news to me. I did not know that they were going to do another Matrix. That's crazy. Uh, I think it was a good choice for him, based on his role in Daredevil, which will be a little world, because that's two Marvel characters he will be. Very true. Um, uh, Omar, you need to make your way to the Baron to fix his armor, if possible. Actually, need to come down here and help girly girl out. You got one shot here. You can take this dude out, which will help. Yeah, that'll help. She should be fine now that she healed. But well, like Captain America also being the Human Torch. Yeah, he was. I mean, he's been good in both both of those roles. Chris Evans. Um, this guy hasn't been hurt at all. We'll we'll heal you up later, Baron. Let's get you down here to help. Um, and that was dumb because you needed a reload. Okay. So you could hunt him down here. So you could come down here and be. 
She she's not shy about fighting, I'll tell you that. Mm. Almost got it. Omar. Omar, I don't think I don't, I don't think he can make it uh, far enough, buddy. Excited that there's new Doom Patrol episodes. They brought back Flex and Mentalo in the latest one. Kind of relief from all the good on DC Universe and binge the second season that showed made me appreciate him. Uh, Brendan Fraser's a. I always liked him. Um, and I'm glad he's he's back at it. We we're actually watching that right now, the first season of it, and it's so like out there and unapologetic about it. it it's it's great. We're really enjoying it so far. Uh, what do you got here? Yeah, missed him with an 80%. Unlucky. Uh, she'll take him out. Yeah, we're watching him through HBO Max. Zap. Only show I'd compare it to is Legion, which I didn't watch. Didn't see Legion. I'm actually going through Marvel's Runaways now, and if you can get past the teen angst, um, it's it's okay. It's not the not the best show, but it is it is heavy on the teen angst. Pow! Uh, all right, let's see what we got. Fuel. <laughs> Used shaving brush. Gross. But somebody's still gonna pay ten dollars for it. Massive leather wallet. That's nice. We got a uh, worn sheepskin leaf vest. Ooh, new Oakfield Gernsback gun. Uh, it's a disintegrator, level three. The Americans have entered the highly competitive disintegrator market with this mass-produced model. We'll see if that's any better than what the doctors are using. Chica, 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 chica. I mean, that's an epic. Better armor shredding. It's only one one point of damage less. It's got corrosion. Let's see. The range is better. Crit chance is not as good. The crit damage is better. She gets vitality with the other and the the item level. This is tough. They're they're pretty balanced. Boy oh boy, this is kind of tough. Having that vitality is, is pretty nice. What do you guys think about this? I, I'm not sure. To me, they are basically the same thing, only there's a couple of things that are switched. The, 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 the new gun, this blue one, actually, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards it because it's got a few more greens than it does reds, you know? Uh, Patrick, you said stay with uh, stay with the one we got because of the crit chance and the vital, the, the vitality. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Alan Tudyk, yeah, Alan Tudyk is is great. But don't spoilers in a thing, you guys. Don't spoilers. Uh, we are currently on the episode. Well, I won't spoil anything for you. We're we're like six six to seven episodes in, I think. Um, go by the value. That's that's a smart way to do it too. Yeah, when, in which case the epic is better. I always liked him, but he was um, like a good-looking Jack Black. And that show actually gives me emotions. That's why I avoid the CW shows now too. I do. We we like the Flash, but it's uh, it may it may have worn its welcome. I'm just gonna get all the shows. I'm okay with Doom Patrol. We've got the Swamp Thing show on DVD. I haven't watched it yet. The dude that plays Swamp Thing, uh, Annie did a uh, a show with at Comedy Sports. He showed up one night and um, did improv, and she got to. Um, 
to play uh, on his team and uh, she said he was very nice and um, just a very cool guy all around so that was nice to hear medium armor who gets this him is this any better no let's get rid of this one. this thing too do we ever check and it's not as not as good let's get rid of it Ready. boy look at this we are we're full up on fuel and we're kind of stuck in a thing and there's plenty of places to go let's pop over here do a little battle get us some xp and then head back stick with epic he was swamp thing from that new series yeah that's what they said uh derek mears uh i think they said it was swamp thing need to start playing six degrees of table floor you'd be surprised uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, the stink of death hangs over the old bunker. As you explore the bunker, your blood runs cold. Wherever you look, the ground is littered with entrails and mangled corpses. Suddenly, you hear a door slam behind you. You spin around and realize that you have walked into a trap. This is our walking into a trap face. See ya, Ducky Booze. Thanks for stopping by. Alrighty, we got six. Six of these nasty cultists. Three of them right here. Three of them down here. So, we got a bunch right on top of us. Look at all these fans. What is this dude? Alright, the Baron. You right here, Miguel. I mean, you might as well. I mean, well, if everybody's in, if infected, I don't know what these guys. I don't know what this guy is. I can't really tell. Um, but that's okay. We'll get you behind this table. Omar, we'll get you in here. And the doctor, I'm going to put you up here by the Baron. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh, the, okay. The arrow, the down arrow means, excuse me, means we get one, one, one move. Um, so we, we gotta make this count. Oh, damn. I think he just critted that guy. For one shot. Alright, now we got a little breathing room. Cultist 2. Right, let's put her... Let's put her down here. Omar, you can move, but you can't do anything else. Oh, actually, what you need to do is heal her armor. There you go. Um, and Miguel. Miguel, you're, you're fine where you are. Not much we can do. Let's let them come to us and see what they got. Uh, remember that Nat has bait for zombies. Good call. Oh, not cool. Oh my God, look at that AOE on that one. Actually, go to Mike Schneider for uh, just a minute in an art stream the other day. Rated it with like 800 people. Oh, you got to talk to. I actually don't know who that is, but that's uh, amazing. Yeah, I've heard of these raids, and I I didn't know what they meant. Good grief, that almost destroyed the Baron. Uh, okay. So we can probably get. Well, we can see about getting rid of this guy. Wasn't great. Th 
this guy royally messed with us, though, huh? Huh, um, so I don't know how that bait works. Does she throw a bait that attracts dogs and zombies in the area effect for one turn? Okay. Whoa. Is that going to do anything? We throw it, like, down in here? Oh, from Lincoln Park. Wow. A lot of hip hop rappers there. That's cool. Uh, maybe here? I don't. I don't know how the bait works. Should we try it down here? Get them. Just get them running away from us. Let's try it. All right. And then maybe she can go hide. Hide. Wait for them here. Ah, uh, shoot! I'm, I meant to have her heal the Baron. Now... Uh... <laughs> Oof. Now... Repair his armor. That'll help. Sent to hit him. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's 80 anywhere you go. Except for there. Um. Can't hit him from there. from here. Got 46. You think we should try to one-shot him? I don't want the Baron dying. Yeah, maybe we just run. Maybe just run with him. I also don't want these guys to come up here and get him. Okay, he'll be safe here, I think. Well, uh, this guy can come up here, possibly. I'm going to try this. Let's see how this goes. Good shot, Baron. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Hopefully, the cultists will go for Omar and them. Okay, they didn't go after the bait. Huh. Oh, Jesus. So that bait did... Sweet Fanny Adams. Um, first of all, the doctor's gonna have to come up here and heal. Okay, that helps. This guy's just a cultist, so we could punch him to death, I believe. And then, can we Granada? Win in Granada. Those Granadans. Oh my god, it didn't kill either of them. That sucks. Okay. Don't want to get infected by Van. Um. Well. Well, he's okay on. He's okay. I think we're going to survive this. Yeah, you've got to reload. So the, <laughs> the doctor has basically sacrificed herself to keep, to keep me alive here. Oh. These guys are tough. 
tough. Ugh. Uh, doctor, you're gonna have to run and then shoot. Just, just shoot him. Boy, that was tough, Chad. We need to rest. There hasn't been like an oasis anytime around there. Anytime near here. Ha! Fortune smiles on Omar. Well, look at this. We got a wax doll. I thought it was an insect. Petroleum. Money. A crappy gun. <laughs> These can all be yours. Yeah, I don't care about that gun. Um, if the price is right. All right. Boy, oh boy. Tough. Tough stuff. Look at this. We're going to have to heal everybody. Starting to run out of supplies. It's a good thing we bought from uh, that old woman, huh? Um, 56 of 80. I mean, you might as well. Baron's lost 30. All right, Omar, let's see what you got, buddy. Damage range. Uh, hey, look at that. Repair mount 12, plus 12. Eh, he does he does a lot of repair with those tools anyway. Grenades throw range. He doesn't use that. Assault rifle, shotgun damage. I think we're going to have to go with the shot damage. The enemies are getting tougher, yeah. Um... Yeah, out of the things he uses, he does this, but it repairs enough already that uh, it's pretty good. So let's just go for the shotgun damage. Yeah. All right, boys and girls. nice to get a rest no rest for the wicked you are wait racing along the gravel track at full speed and enjoying the cool wind on your face when a loud bang breaks the monotonous sound of the engine at first you think it's a gunshot but you but as your jeep starts to skid you realize you have a flat tire or here's one get get out and use that some difficulty you bring the call to a halt so you take a closer look at the damage you're gonna have to change the wheel you take the opportunity to retighten all the screws on your wheels before restarting your journey. Just have Omar lift it up and put the wheel on and then you'll be good. Oh, everybody gets XP. That's nice. I don't think it does anything for anybody. But... Um, this is it. That final battle with only two supplies. That's uh, that's kind of rough. We've got nine fuel. Yeah, I couldn't couldn't make it there and back. All right, here we go. Not in the best of uh, positions to do this, but at the foot of the mighty mountain. You finally find the vehicles of the Niazi expedition parked by an old mine entrance. You've reached your destination. You park your own vehicle behind a rock and cautiously sneak closer with your weapons drawn, but you do not encounter anybody. Is this going to be a face melting scene? After a long trek through the enormous mine, you hear voices. You sneak closer and hide behind some boxes. The hall is teeming with soldiers. You hear a loud shout. A detachment of soldiers runs into an adjoining room. You crane your necks, but you cannot see what they're doing there. Uh-oh. We've been had. Suddenly you feel the muzzles of several rifle being jammed into your backs. You've been discovered. You fools! It is going to be like that scene. They're going to tie us up and make us witness them opening the ark. 
A patrol escorts you into the stone chamber. The soldiers and a senior officer are standing there around a huge, sprawling device. The officer's face lights up when he sees you. Delightful! I do love company. Please, come closer. You see, this is the problem with these old myths. You never know what to expect. The wrath of God. Presumably an artifact of untold power. Deadly power, if you understand me. The officer points casually toward the object. I'm sure you can appreciate that I'm reluctant to risk the lives of my men. Perhaps you might help me? The officer nods to you encouragingly. You look around to see several rifles pointed at you. You have no choice. You approach the strange object. It's covered with arcane devices. In their midst, you see a bizarre yet fearsome looking object. Is this the mythical wrath of God? What will happen if you take it? One shot Miguel shrugs and grabs the artifact. Then everything happens very quickly. Ancient alien theorists believe. <laughs> Miguel just one shot him. <laughs> Among the startled shouts of the surprised soldiers, you also hear Miguel's cries of pain. The wrath of God glows red in his hands. In a swift motion, Miguel hurls the weapon aside. You take cover, anticipating a German counterattack. Did he pay the panic cost? Probably not. Looks like he got some mana burn. Are we gonna start fighting the demons from Hayawala? Okay, what do we got here? Seven people. Officer three, shock three, sniper three, Tesla three. Tough, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this side is relatively safe. Who's this, the Baron? Hmm, not a lot of good cover. It's going to be a tough one, Chad. They get to go first? Ugh. They just get to move, though. All right, Baron, what do we got, son? You might be able to one-shot him from here. And he's got good cover. I'm going to send him up here. Oh, no. But maybe, um... Maybe the doctor can help.
Let's see if she can get up here and do a hundred on. What's he got? Yeah, let's see if she can take him out. I'm gonna take somebody out here. It's okay. Omar. dude's gonna do. Probably shoot from up there. Just back at one end of the corner and let him funnel in. That's probably, probably what I should be doing. You're right. Uh, so if we have him retreat, maybe we can have him retreat to here. He'll have at least some cover. I'm worried about this side. Uh, the guys over here. But we can get a shot off first? No? Shoot. All right. I hate to waste so I could I could heal his armor right now I believe and then run off to a better location or I could go up here and start to he could maybe take the sniper out actually I think I'm gonna go for the damage on this guy he's got a 70% chance I think I'll take that Hit these guys. 50% him, 50% him. Uh, this. Oh, nope. Grenada! Beautiful. Now let's get him back where we were going to send him to. Omar. Alright. I'm okay with that opening round, I believe. We got two of them. Took two of them. I'm, sure, I'm still not sure on the cover situation. Okay, we could take some more misses like that. That'd be nice. Not worried about him. Ooh. Shot from up here, but that's okay. It wasn't very much. All right. All right, could have been worse. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um... Actually, I'm feeling a little, a little better about the CH now. So here's the deal. We can run up here. We can off. We can take two of these guys out. We're gonna be a little bit open, but I think it's gonna be worth the price of admission here. okay for the most part so that's nice um she can go after the officer I guess start whittling on him I'll have her do that Just, okay that's all right um so Omar's gonna swing around and punch this guy into some mission Submission. Nobody can withstand Prince Omar. You were named after the dog. <laughs> All right. Um. Eighty percent. 
percent chances from all these places. Or we do this, Chad. And if he moves, kill him. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Very nice. We take two Nazis down each turn. I'm liking those odds. Ruh row. He didn't move? <laughs> you bastard. Well played. Come on. 80%? All uh, right. Um No, you're fine. Just just reload. Um, she's in the path of the sniper, but Miguel should be able to come to her rescue here. Who's this other guy down here? I'm not worried about it. Ah! One shot. And now she can shoot. I wonder if this uh, has any better chance of hitting him. No? Oh, wait. No, she can only do that alive. Try it. Missed it. Alright, that's alright. You got Omar over here. Wait, really? You can't shoot him from here? to hit him. We'd have been all golden girls. All golden, all girls. Oof. That hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Damn nation. Um, yeah, for that... Just for that, you're gonna get the fists of Omar. Jeez. It's funny how she can shoot 100% from here, but if she gets behind cover, it's the it's just blown her percentage. there be another battle. I, I have a feeling that's not all there is going to be to this one. As the last soldier falls to the ground, you look at each other in disbelief. You actually did it! But you don't have much time. A loud creaking noise warns you of another impending danger. The monstrous construct did not survive the battle unscathed. But the loot did. Whoa, what is this? Valkyrian Crystal, offhand item, assault rifle accuracy plus six. Wow. Am I going to have to give up uh, something good in, the, in my other hand, though? Strange green crystal of unknown origin, known to the ancient Egyptians as Ka, the mystical life giver, reportedly used by German scientists to unleash the powers of ancient artifacts. <laughs> what is the deal with the syringes in the Syrian desert? Lots of cash. Ooh, look at this one. A legendary assault rifle. Hell yeah. Oh my god. A sharp stiletto. An epic knife. For the Baron. Nah. 
elegant and deadly, uh, just like the Baron. Finally, some worthwhile loot. Oh, be beautiful. Thanks, Finite Glory. Uh, the whole place could come. Before we do that, let's uh, <laughs> let's get these guys their stuff. Yeah, look at that. The crit chance is down a little, but um, he gets plus one reflexes. Man, his reflexes are crazy. He's turning into Ozymandias from Watchmen. <laughs> uh, and let's see, this assault rifle, I guess we'll give that to Miguel. My gosh, it is like a sea of green. Look at all that. Armor piercing, crit chance. Another tile. Vitality plus two. Which his vitality is crazy. Already, but... Perfecto. What else did we... This thing. So, does this go, like, here? Ah, oh, it does. But we gotta... We can't do that. Ah, oh, that stinks. Because he's gotta have grenades. Wait, that's not good? This isn't good? Which one's not good, War Wizard? Uh, let's see, and then we'll... Send this one to go. So we don't need that. Um, also, did anybody else have... No. Oh, oh, him turning into Ozymandias, my bad. Yeah, I mean, that'd get, uh, that would get pretty crazy. You're right. Um, but his reflexes are Ozymandias-like, and that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> um, I think everybody else is, is okay with what they've got. Anyway, the whole place could collapse at any moment. You run as fast as you can to escape the collapsing masonry. <laughs> nice jump, Miguel. Psychic squid incoming. Uh. His storyline was so crazy in that HBO Watchmen. Boosh. Only when you've reached your Jeep do you have time to catch your breath. The artifact should be buried forever under tons of rock. Your only consolation is that the Nazis will never get their hands on it. What is this? Look at my bag of valuables. <laughs> what is this, a shake weight? Uh, let's see. Look how many we killed. Cha 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 cha. Right. Lots of mixed damage. Natural damage. Shag. 78. Not too bad. There you go, chat. Adventure 2 complete. Uh, Sweet and complete. Um, so here's the question. So we played this for, what, four, four streams now? Um, three or four. Not too bad. Uh, I really enjoy this. I, I could keep playing it. If you guys want to see me play something different, let me know. I've got, man, I went crazy with this Steam sale that's going on. Um... I got all kinds of uh, horror games. I got that Bigfoot game I was talking about. Got the Goat Man. Um, got a lot of, got a lot of stuff. So, um, you guys, let me know what uh, what should we do next stream? Should we keep going on this? Should we uh, should we start a new one? Do a horror game? Should we do that Bigfoot game? Um, I, the, the possibilities are endless. There's, there's actually an end to it. That's, that's not true. The, the, the possibilities are finite, but there are a bunch before we get there. <laughs> An interpretive dance. We can do that. Uh, we can do that for. Um, we, can, we can pick out which which game warrants an interpretive dance. We can do that for Dread Out. I'll just I'll just uh, dance like a big fat piggy. I'm down for whatever, just here for the entertainment company. Good to hear. So am I. So am I, War Wizard. Cheers to that. Um, 
keep playing this. I can do that. I, I really, I really am enjoying this. The thing about this game uh, is it's got a lot of RPG elements, which is nice uh, for a, a, a game like this. Usually, when I've played these games, it's been a lot. It's it's a very slow grind for RPG for building people up and stuff. And this one, I feel like they reward you and and um, get the get the the characters up there quite quickly. So that's nice. And we could also uh, try new new team members too at, at any point and see what that uh, new character is like. But, so yeah, that's that's definitely a possibility. And um, if uh, if you guys are like okay, tired of this, then we always have options. I think there are what four adventures. There are a bunch. No, there's three more. Night of the Black Pharaoh. Now we're starting to get into the weird stuff. I'm good with whatever, but this is a lot of fun. Cool voice acting practice is nice as well. <laughs> well, we'll keep going on this. I'm, I don't, uh, you don't have to twist my arm on that. I enjoy it. What is this? You can tweet and you can scare him. Anybody, anybody on uh, the Scarab social media? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just keep going on this, and um, and we'll see how it is, and we'll see what the um, what the other people are like, and maybe we'll we'll uh, check on their skills and get some other people leveled up and stuff. But um, I'm I'm really enjoying it, uh, and it's fun to hang out, uh, and you guys are great. So uh, thank you. Thanks, thanks for hanging out. Happy 4th to everybody, and um, um, keep on keeping on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.